Hello children. Let's get into the subject. Chapter 3. More on MS Word 2016. Let's quickly see what we are going to focus in this chapter. Shapes, word art, inserting pictures, table, entering data in a table, selecting different parts of a table, inserting rows and columns, deleting rows and columns, merging and splitting the cells, formatting a table. Shapes Word 2016 has a set of built-in shapes that you can use in your documents. You can resize, rotate, flip and add color and text to shapes. There are different kinds of shapes in the shapes command such as lines, basic shapes, flowchart elements, stars, banners, callouts, block arrows and rectangles. Now let's see inserting shapes. To insert shapes in the document, let's follow these steps. Step 1. On the insert tab, in the illustrations group, click on the shapes button. The shapes gallery will be open. Step 2. Select the desired shape. Step 3. Move the mouse pointer to the document area. Click and drag the mouse pointer. Let's see this quick tip. To maintain the height and width ratio of a shape, hold down the shift key while you drag the shape. Formatting a shape. The fill and outline color of the shape is blue by default. However, we can change the fill and outline color of the shape by using the options available under the format tab shape fill. Shape outline and shape effect are some commonly used shape formatting options. Inserting text in a shape. You can also insert text in the shape. Let's look at these steps. Step 1. Right click inside the shape, a sub menu appears. Step 2. Select the add text option. The cursor will appear inside the shape. Step 3. Type the text and then come out by clicking anywhere on the screen outside the shape. The text appears in a shape. Changing outline color and thickness of a shape. Follow these steps to change the color of the outline of a shape. Step 1. Click on the shape to select it. Step 2. Click on the format tab. Step 3. Click on the shape outline command. A drop down menu appears. Step 4. Choose the outline color and thickness from the drop down menu. Word Art Word Art helps us to create special effects to the text in the document. It gives a unique look to the text. We can choose any of the built in text styles from the gallery and it will be applied to the text we type. To insert a word text to a document, follow these steps. Step 1. On the Insert tab, in the text group, click on the Word Art button. A Word Art style box appears. Step 2. Select a Word Art style. A placeholder, your text here, appears in the document. Type your text to replace the placeholder text. Formatting a word art You can apply different word art styles to the existing word art text. Step 1. Click on the word art text whose style you want to change. Step 2. 
Click on the Format tab under Drawing Tools. Step 3. Click on the More List arrow in the Word Art Styles group to see additional styles. Step 4. Move the mouse pointer over a desired style. A live preview of the style appears for the selected text. Click the style you want from the gallery to apply it to the text selected. Inserting pictures. Images help in improving the presentation and overall appeal of a document. Images can be added to a Word document and then formatted in various methods. You can insert an image from your computer or through internet. Insert pictures from file. To insert a picture from a computer drive, follow these steps. Step 1. Place the cursor at the point where you want to insert the picture. Step 2. On the Insert tab, in the Illustrations group, click on the Pictures button. Step 3. The Insert Picture dialog box appears. Step 4. Browse and select the picture that you want to be inserted into the document. Click on the Insert button. The selected picture will appear in the document. You can drag the picture to the desired position in the document. Step 5. To resize the picture, click and drag one of the corner sizing handles. Insert online pictures. To insert an online picture, follow these steps. Step 1. Place the cursor at the point where you want the picture to be inserted in the document. Step 2. On the Insert tab, in the Illustrations group, click on the Pictures button. A drop-down list appears. Select the Online Pictures option. The Insert Pictures dialog box appears. Step 3. Choose Bing Image Search or your OneDrive. In our example, we will use Bing Image Search. Step 4. Type the word such as computer mouse and press the enter key. The search results will appear in the box. Step 5. Select the desired picture then click on the insert button. The picture will appear in the document. Table. Word 2016 allows us to arrange data in a tabular format. A table is a grid made up of rows and columns. A column is the vertical series of cells and a row is the horizontal series of cells in a table. It can be used to store and display data in a structured format. The intersection of a column and a row is called a cell. A table is useful for making lists of comparing items in an efficient manner. It is easier to find a specific item in a table. Inserting a table There are many ways to insert a table in Word 2016. Using Grid option To create a table using the Grid option, let's follow these steps. Step 1 On the Insert tab, under the Table group, click on the Table button. A drop-down menu appears. Step 2. Choose the Insert Table option from the drop-down menu. The Insert Table dialog box appears. Step 3. Specify the number of columns and rows you want and click on the OK button. Note, when you insert a table in your document, you will get the design and layout tabs under the table tools on the ribbon to format the table. Let's look at this quick tip. Decide the number of rows and columns to be inserted before creating a table. Using Insert Table 
This option lets you insert a table by selecting the number of rows and columns. To insert the table, follow the given steps. Step 1. Click on the Insert tab. Step 2. Click on the table. Drop down arrow in the tables column in the tables group. Step 3. Click on the Insert Table option. The Insert Table dialog box appears. Step 4. Click on the Insert Table option. The Insert Table dialog box appears. Step 5. Click the OK button. The table appears in the document. Drawing a table. We can also draw a table with a specific number of columns and rows. To draw a table, follow these steps. Step 1. On the Insert tab under the Tables group, click on the Table button. A drop-down menu appears. Step 2. Choose the Draw Table option from the drop-down menu. The mouse pointer will look like a pencil. Step 3. You can draw the columns and rows into the table with the help of this tool using the dragging method. Let's have a quick tidbit. You can insert a pre-designed table by using the insert tab. Under the tables group, click on the table button and then select the quick tables option. Let's look into the snippet. In Word, you can create a blank table and also convert text into a table. Entering data in a table. To enter the data in a table, follow these steps. Step 1. Click on the cell where you want to enter the text. Then type the text in it. Step 2. To move the next adjoining cell, press the tab key or the right arrow key on the keyboard. You can also use mouse and click on the cells to move them. Repeat step 1 until you finish entering all the text for the table. To move to the previous cell, press the shift plus tab key or the left arrow key on the keyboard. The up and down arrow keys will shift the cursor to the cells above or below the current cell. Now to understand better, let's look at this example. Here we have taken 4 columns and 3 rows. Column 1 and first row that is the first cell, we have taken roll number. Cell 2 is name. Cell 3 is father's name. And cell 4, we have texted mother's name. In the second row, first column is number 1. Second row, second column is name Aditya. Second row, third column is Sri Vijay Kumar. Second row, fourth column is Srimati Kanti Devi. Next, third row, first column is number 2. Third row, second column is Subhash. Third row, third column is Sri Naman Rao. Third row, fourth column is Sri Mati Divya Kumari. In this way, we can create a table and enter the data. Selecting different parts of a table. Selecting an individual cell. To select an individual cell, Move the mouse to the left side of the cell until you see it turn into a black arrow that points up to the right. Then click in the cell at that point to select it. Selecting rows and columns. To select a row in a table, move the cursor to the left of the row until it turns into a white arrow pointing up and to the right as shown in this image. Once a row is selected, drag the mouse down over the other rows to select multiple rows. To select a column, move the mouse over the column until you see a black down arrow 
and then click to the select that column. Once a column is selected, click on the left column using a black arrow cursor and drag over the other columns to do multiple selections. Selecting an entire table. To select an entire table, move your mouse over the table until you see the table selection icon in the upper left corner of the table and click on it to select the table. Inserting rows and columns. You can insert rows, columns or cells in a table. Similarly, you can delete unwanted rows, columns or cells from the table. Inserting rows in a table. To add rows, follow these steps. Step 1. Click on the row where you want to add another row. Step 2. Click on the Layout tab under the Table Tools tab. Step 3. From the Rows and Columns group, you can click on the Insert Above or Insert Below button to add a new row above or below the insertion point. Let's look into this quick tip. To add a row at the end of a table, click on the last cell of the last row and then press the tab key. Inserting columns in a table. To add columns, follow these steps. Step 1. Click on the row where you want to add another column. Step 2. Click on the Layout tab under the Table Tools tab. Step 3. From the Rows and Columns group, you can click on the Insert Left or Insert Right button to add a new column left or right the insertion point. Let's look into this trivia. To add a row or a column, hover the pointer over the margins of the cell where you want to add a row or column. Click on the plus sign that appears. To add a row and to add a column. Deleting rows and columns. To delete a row or column, follow these steps. Step 1. Select the rows or columns that you want to delete. Step 2. Click on the Layout tab under the Table Tools tab. Step 3. From the Rows and Columns group, click on the Delete button. A drop-down menu will appear. Click on the desired option from the menu. Let's look into Quick Tip. Press the Shift plus Delete keys to delete the selected rows and columns from the table. Merging and splitting the cells. Merging the cells. Combining two or more cells located at the same row or column into a single cell is called merging the cells. You can merge several cells together at a time. To merge cells, follow these steps. Step 1. Select the cells horizontally or vertically that you want to merge. Step 2. Click on the Layout tab under the Table Tools tab. Step 3. From the Merge group, click on the Merge Cells button. The cells will be merged together. Splitting a cell. You can split a single cell into multiple cells. To split a cell, follow these steps. Step 1. Click on a cell or select multiple cells that you want to split. Step 2. Click on the Layout tab under the Table Tools tab. Step 3. From the Merge group, select on the Split Cells button. The Split Cells dialog box appears. Step 4. Select the number of columns or rows you want to split the selected cells into. Note, for horizontal splitting, enter the number of columns and for vertical splitting, enter the number of rows. And this image shows before splitting 
and after splitting formatting a table let us study about some of the ways in which we can format a table changing row height and column width follow the instructions below to modify the row height and column width step 1 select the row or number of rows click on layout tab under table tools step 2 in the cell size group navigate to the table row height table column width option step 3 change the height of one or more rows in the height scroll box you will witness the modification in the selected row or rows similarly in the width scroll box you can change the width of a column or columns you will witness the altered width of the selected column or columns changing the text alignment to change the alignment of the text in a table follow these steps step 1 select the cell or cells click on the layout tab under table tools step 2 go to alignment options in the alignment group select the alignment you want to apply to your text upper left upper center upper right middle left middle center middle right lower left lower center lower right now as we have learned so much let's quickly have a chapter recap the shapes command contains several categories of shapes like lines rectangles basic shapes flow charts banners and callouts etc you can insert text in the shape you can change the fill and outline colors of the shape using the format tab the word art feature of word lets us insert text in various styles in a document the options to insert pictures are available in the illustrations group under the insert tab if you do not have the picture you want in your computer you can find a picture online and add to your document the intersection of a column and a row is called a cell you can insert a table by using the insert table option You can insert rows, columns or cells in a table. Similarly, you can delete unwanted rows, columns or cells from a table. Combining two or more cells into a single cell is called merging. Splitting a cell means dividing the selected cell into separate cells. 